Hello everyone, it's Joe here and welcome to Train Simulator 2022. Today we are in the Armstrong Powerhouse Enhanced Class 800. I do believe it is an 800. Yep, there we go, 800207. And we're just approaching New Northgate on one of the scenarios which you can download through Powerhouse, which is the Armstrong Powerhouse uh, add-on. There's loads of scenarios on there, and uh, the route that we are currently driving is one of the Midland Main Line extensions, which takes us all the way to Lincoln. So, uh, yes, hello driver, you join your train on the move just south of Newark Northgate. You will call at Newark Northgate at 11.36, and Lincoln, 12 o'clock, before stabling at Lincoln Terrace Siding 3. Finally, remember to switch to diesel mode as soon as you arrive at Newark. Now, this is going to show off, I mean, obviously we're on electrics, so we've got the pantograph up at the rear, and uh, we're arriving into Newark Northgate, where we will then change onto diesel. We'll just slow down a little, little tiny bit just to get us uh, across the points. It's quite sharp, isn't it, for uh, oh, this next bit, certainly, is to say that we're doing uh, 30 miles an hour. It just seems a little bit of a... Hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and the route is the Just Trains uh, enhancement. It's not an enhancement, is it? It's an add-on. The add-on for the Just Trains Midland Main Line route. Uh, I think it's Nottingham to Lincoln, which is this section of the route. Uh, and, of course, you've got the crossover, which features in... Uh, at Newark Northgate, where it crosses over the East Coast Main Line. Uh, I don't actually know if we've got stop boards. I'm not entirely convinced we do, so I'll just stop uh, where it seems right. We've got the guard operated doors, selected door opening. We'll just plonk it here. That, uh, that seems absolutely fine. So there we go. Get them doors open. So what we need to do is uh, we need to press Z, which will start the engines up. There you go, you can hear those have just uh, just come into play there. You can see the RPM at the bottom. We'll put the pantograph down with P. I say we'll put the pantograph down with P. No, nope, nothing. Right, we'll hold M. So we're in diesel mode. Oh, and the pantograph just goes down on its own. Right, okay. So there you go, that's literally all there is to it. We have switched from diesel to, uh, to electric. No, we haven't. Tell a light. We've switched from electric through to diesel, just like that. Now, uh, this is a section of route which I've never been on. I mean, to be fair, I didn't even know it existed. Uh, if we go down, if I just pop outside the cab, if we uh, take a little trip down here uh, to the north, I never even knew that this, uh, this little corner... Uh, this little curve here was a thing, but apparently it is. Uh, so there we go. That's exciting, isn't it? Uh, and of course, LNER now run an every two hour service, I think it is, from Lincoln to London at King's Cross. I think it used to be just one a day in each direction, but now uh, it is an every two hourly service, which is uh, it's rather marvellous, isn't it, for the people of Lincoln? Um, but yeah, it, it's not exactly what I would go as far as to say is the most exciting routes out there. Um, it's pretty dull, to be perfectly honest with you. But, I mean, it, it's kind of this this area of the country. You know, I don't wish to, to offend anybody, but I'm about to anyway. Uh, it's just a very dull section of the country, isn't it? You know, it's it's very flat. It's very, you know, like, I mean, Omsi, there was the Gainsborough map. It's, it's just a very dull section of the United Kingdom. Um, you know, there's not a lot to see. There's not a lot of hills. Uh, if you can change my mind on that, uh, and, you, you know, there's a lot of things, perhaps I'm just ignorant of that. Perhaps there's lots of nice things to see in Lincolnshire. Uh, do let me know in the comments. I mean, I once went to... Oh, look, hang on. There's a chap coming the other way at high speed there. He's obviously not stopping. Off we go. Oh, look at that, straight through. And, of course, as you will hear now, you'll hear the diesel engines firing up. There we go. Lovely. Lovely, lovely stuff. Oh, full power. Love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, yeah, um, I think my, my experience of Lincolnshire uh, was when I went to the Lincoln Bus Rally quite a few years ago now. And, and yeah, it just, it was just dull. <laughs> there was just not a lot of it. You know, like, I, I quite enjoy flying up the East Coast at high speed or... For instance, uh, hang on, let's just get that speed set up a bit higher. I know we have to drop down to 25 in a minute, don't we? So uh, there's no point rushing up to speed. Uh, but yeah, 
it, it just wasn't particularly exciting. Uh, although, to be fair, it's the Lincolnshire bus rally. Uh, you know, mm, perhaps that's not very exciting indeed. So, yeah. And I've never been back since, so perhaps it's more interesting than it used to be. Who knows? So, obviously, on the left there is the East Coast Main Line, which will take you up to Doncaster and, uh, and York and Edinburgh and what not. Uh, but we're obviously coming off here onto a branch. Now, I have never heard of a lot of the stations down here. It's not an area of the country that I have a particularly uh, large or indeed small amount of knowledge about, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, literally never heard of any of the any of the stations. But do you know what? It's a nice little route. You might think, you know, if you know the route, you might think, oh, actually, I think it's pretty terrible. Uh, but from driving it, oh, hang on. Got jolted about a bit there, didn't we? Um, yeah, from driving it, I thought, you know, the, some just trains routes are absolutely awful. You know, and you're driving along and the, the attention to detail is very minimal. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to point back to Western Main Lines. I mean, I got it when it first came out. There's probably been updates since then. I mean, I've not really driven a lot of Western Main Lines since. Um, Purely because, again, it's it's not really where I'm from. Uh, I, I do like the Western Main Lines. I like the fact you can drive from Penzance to London in one go. Uh, right, there we go. Full steam ahead. Let's get going. Um, but, yeah, I uh, it, it, it was kind of lacking in detail in some areas. You thought, mm, this, you know, it's a bit naff, is this, isn't it? Uh, but this route, really, really pleased with. I mean, there's lots of variety in terms of the, uh, you know, the foliage. Uh, there's lots of attention to detail, and on some of the stations, I think they look really nice. You know, they do look nice. I forgot to activate my uh, driver vigilance device. I do wish that Armstrong Powerhouse would make that um, active as a default, and then you turn it off rather than having to turn it on all the time, or that there was some sort of setting in Train Simulator. I mean, you know from when I've played Train Sim World, that is an irritation of mine, that all the safety systems set off as default. I'm like, well, hang on, we're playing Train Simulator. Now, I want to simulate it how it would be. You know, I want all these these systems on. Uh, this is where I'd probably cock up and miss uh, the driver vigilance, isn't it? And then I'll wonder why on earth I wanted it to be on. But there we go. So, uh, it's... It's a bit of an odd one, this line. Um, it has to be said. I don't know if it's because we're just on semaphore or what, but it's a perfectly straight line, as you can see, for most of it. Uh, and it's 50 miles an hour. I, I just don't get why you can't go faster. I mean, even... Oh, hang on. There we go. We'll get you sorted. I mean, you know, we're, we're plodding along, and it's all well and good. It just kind of seems like we could go a little bit faster down this section, even 70 uh, I mean, it does go to 70 in a little bit anyway. But this just seems a bit unnecessary, you know what I mean? Because, I mean, I did think, well, maybe it's because we're on semaphore. Maybe it's because we're on semaphore signals. Uh, it's, oh, no, you can't go fast on semaphore. But no, it was you still, like on the East Coast and the West Coast main line. You, you could go fast on semaphore, so... I don't know. Are they wooden sleepers? Is the track knackered? Who knows? Um... Again, it doesn't strike me that this section of line has a particularly high-frequency service. A little cross in there. Let me just plod over. It's, uh, it's very much what I'd like to call a poodle down this line. I imagine we've been doing 125 from uh, London King's Cross up to Newark. And uh, now we just poodle for the rest of the way uh, up to Lincoln. It's kind of like, literally, you come off the East Coast Main Line at Newark and it's it's like the North-South Divide, just literally there at that junction. You know, you're going from 125 to 50, and, and that sums it up. I don't know why there's no whistle boards for these level crossings. I mean, you can see on the... I've not seen any that we've driven past. Perhaps I've just missed them. But you can see on here, uh, it actually tells you where where the whistle boards are. Uh, some routes do, some routes don't. Um, it just seems a bit weird. We've got these foot crossings, you know, occupational crossings that don't have whistle boards. Maybe they're meant to, maybe they're not. I don't know. But uh, you, you kind of imagine that it, it would. A bit bizarre, isn't it, really? I mean, it's a good job we've got speed set down here so that we can just poodle. Because uh, I tell you, this would be agonisingly painful if we didn't have speed set.
But you see, I like the, the, the things like the hay bales in the side. I like the, the little uh, the clutter next to the track. You know, you've got like that little white thing on the left and that box. You know, they didn't need to put that in telegraph-wise. It just seems quite a, um, uh, uh, not a congested route, because that's congested is a negative word, isn't it, really? Um, but it's a very busy route. You know, there's lots to see as, you, as you're pootling along. There is a lot to see, and, and that's that's nice, you know, like the stop, look, listen board on the left there. They didn't have to put that in. I mean, I know it'd look a bit barren, but there's some trends in routes that don't. And there you go, whistle board. And of course, our colleague there. Give them a wave. They're pootling in the other direction. Uh, I believe it's an every two hour service down to London King's Cross from Lincoln. Uh, yeah, I think it's an every two hour service, so that will obviously be the chap. He'll be on the 11, whatever it was, out of Lincoln. 11.36, is it? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I don't know what era this timetable's from. I mean, it must be fairly recent, because we're using the IETs. Um, but, yeah. So we've got our first station coming up here. We don't stop here, obviously. We're, uh, we're straight through to Lincoln. Just wiggle the throttle about so the DSD won't go off. But I mean, look at this. I absolutely love this station. Uh, I've completely forgotten what it's called. There we go. We'll, we'll just let that go uh, sailing through. And I mean, look at this. You've got you've got the the waiting, the the benches, the bins, Collingham. Is that what it is, Collingham? That that looks like what it would be. You've got the platform which has been raised here, obviously, for a bit more level boarding. Got the signal, little little uh, bits of clutter around here. I just think it's a really nice detailed station. I love that as well. That's absolutely gorgeous. I hope they never get rid of that. The old station building here, just really, really nice, really nicely done. Um, just trains have done really well with this. Actually, I'm I'm very impressed. And you know what? This is the first that I've driven on the uh, the, the Midland Main Line. Pretty much, I've done a few on the Sheffield to Derby, but I never bothered with any of the extensions. Like at all, I just never bothered because again, it's it's not really an area I know much about. But this has really inspired me to do a lot more on this Midland Main Line. I am so impressed, and if this is the level of detail we're expecting, I cannot wait for the Hope Valley Line to come out because they're extending, obviously, aren't they, uh, from Sheffield over the Hope Valley to Manchester. That is going to be absolutely fantastic in a Class One Eight Five. Again, when I found out it was just trains doing it, I was like, mm, really? But no, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with this. It might not be the best route out there. I'm sure that, you know, I'm going on about how fantastic it is. Uh, there'll probably be some people sat there like, oh, well, actually, I don't think it's very good. You know, fair play to you. Fair dues. If you, we've all got our reasoning for thinking what we think. We're all entitled to our opinion. But as trains and routes go, I think this is a perfectly enjoyable route. Of course, I do have my me, me little niggles with the Armstrong Powerhouse Enhancement Pack. Um, I don't like the fact the signal button, you can't click signal buzzer uh, on either side. You can't click door release on either side. Uh, it does have to primarily be done from the keyboard. Yet, weirdly enough, you can click door close. I just find that a bit odd. Um, I mean, this is nice that it's here. It makes it a bit easier. But I wouldn't have objected it to have been in the, in the place it usually is, which I believe is over here. Uh, no GSMR. The GSMR does not work. Can't click it. And I just, I struggle with that because like the GSMR working is a staple of most AP packs, isn't it? Maybe it'll come in an update later. I don't know. It just seems a little bit bizarre. You know, we're we're used to that being a function, and if they can make it a function in all the other trains, I don't get why they can't in this. Another little detail station. Look, way going sailing through. Got a crossover, so you can obviously terminate there. I mean, I, I don't know why you would. It seems a bit of a out-of-the-way remote place. But I guess in terms of service disruption, it's good. Uh, it gives you a bit more flexibility, doesn't it? But yeah, I uh, yeah, it just seems a bit weird that there wouldn't be a working JSMR. Very strange. But uh, like I said, maybe it'll come in an update later on. What I do absolutely love, however, and I probably said this in the last video, I love the uh, the train door control. You can pass it from driver to guard, and he's got a little ticket machine around him. That's absolutely brilliant. I mean, that's probably how the buttons are in real life, but it just really made me laugh. Um, I mean, I don't sign the Hitachis. I think I said that again. 
in uh, in the first video I did on these. I don't sign the attaches. Never have done. Don't know if I ever will. Um, so I've not spent an awful amount of time in the cabs on these. So it's all kind of a bit new to me. Um, but yeah, there's there's just a couple of little niggles. Overall, I think it's a great pack. It really has revolutionised uh, the modern train sim because, I mean, these things, these Intercity Express trains from Hitachi are flipping everywhere now. There's not a lot of routes in the UK you can drive on where you're not going to see one. I mean, like, I think pretty much it's West Coast, but they're coming to the West Coast, they're coming to the East Midlands. There literally won't be a lot of places other than the deepest, darkest depths of Scotland where you're not going to see them. So the fact that this pack has come out uh, really, really does allow you to drive a lot more modern scenarios, and uh, and it, it's good. It's good. Unfortunately, uh, seventy is as quick as we get uh, on this particular line. It's uh, yeah. That's, it is as quick as it gets, unfortunately. We are going to drop down to 50 in a little bit as well. Back down to 50. That's just what we need. And uh, as well, the uh, I'm, I'm sure you'll remember in the... If you watched the Chatmos video that I did, first of all, when we were on electric, you can just turn your speed selector down. Uh, you can turn that down. On, uh, on the electric mode and it will break for you. You can't do that on diesel mode. If you're on diesel mode it will deactivate that functionality which is, you know, I'm assuming that's true to life because it would be a bit weird to put it in if it wasn't. Uh, but yeah, brilliant. I like little things like that. Little attentions to detail. There's a 158 coming the other way. Oh, it is an all. Oof. I wonder where he's going then. I mean, I'm assuming he's started at Lincoln and he's probably going to Nottingham. There you go. The, the power of deduction. We've not had... Uh, again, we've got a few crossings here. It still seems weird there's no whistle boards. I mean... If anybody actually knows this route in real life, perhaps you could enlighten me, but it does just seem a bit weird. I mean, I always thought before, like, an occupational crossing or a level crossing, there just was a whistle board. I, I always assumed that that was how it was. I mean, who knows? Who knows? Got another station here. Oh, it's a staggered station. Reminds me of uh, Slowit on the line between Huddersfield and Manchester. That's a staggered station. And we've got a Linden. Uh, is is Linden a real thing? Is that a, a Just Trains pretend shop? I don't know. Is it a Lidl? I don't know. What's Linden? I think I think Google uh, needs to be brought up for this. Linden. No, no, there's actually a thing called the Lindum Group. Oh, maybe they've used the uh, the real the real branding. We work with clients to take their projects from concept to completion. Oh, it's one of those. Right, okie dokie. Well, it's nice that they're using real brands. It just adds to the immersion of the route when it's a real brand, doesn't it? Because you, you can spot it from the train. You're like, oh, look, there's that. Isn't that marvellous? Right, let's uh, let's just take the power off and we'll coast a little bit. We'll also put the speed set down to... I say speed set, speed selector. Speed selector is what it's actually called. And uh, about half a mile away. There we go, we'll just pop it in 20% for a bit of break in there. I've still not quite got the braking right on this. I did record a video on the uh, Riviera line between Paynton and Exeter. However, just after Star Cross, my entire computer ran into a problem and needed to close. Uh, so I'd, I'd, it were a 50 minute scenario, I did about 40 to 45 minutes of the driving of the scenario and it crashed. So in a fit of temper, uh, I was like, right, not doing that anymore. Uh, but it's perhaps for the best because uh, I did actually uh, not fail to call at Timmouth 
uh, but I did overshoot by a carriage. Because again, the braking, I've, I'm just not quite, quite comfortable with it yet. Uh, I prefer something like this where you just gradually brought down uh, and I find that a lot easier to stop. But I did that, that fatal train sim thing where you brake too hard too quickly and then you think, oh, these brakes are smashing, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll leave them and brake later and then uh, didn't brake early enough. Bricked too late and went sailing through the station. I was like, for goodness sake. That's, uh, I mean, I don't know why this is, this AWS is beeping, is it? Because this signal round the corner is, uh, is anything other than a green. Oh, oh, we've got a cambered corner. Oh, it's a yellow. Right, okay. <laughs> That. Doesn't that look good? Look at that. That is brilliant. Let's have a... Let's zoom out a bit. Oh, those railings have got in the way now. What a disaster. Beautiful. We'll keep that. I'll have that. That might be the cover photo. That might be. That exact moment might be what attracted you to watching this video. Who knows? I've slowed down a bit too soon. I had the brakes on while I was, uh, yeah, come on, let's get back up to 30. Yeah, I had the brakes on while we were slowing down, so that's, uh, that's not gone well at all. Now, I imagine, because we're about to join another line here, I haven't got a clue where that comes from. Uh, I could have looked at the route maps, but chose not to. Uh, I imagine that this line going off to the left is kind of like a Lincoln avoider, where they could maybe send freight round. That would make sense, wouldn't it? There we go, we'll just break now, just in case this signal... Because we had a yellow, so it's more than likely uh, that this is a red. Again, for the junction, that would make sense. Maybe they're bringing us down to get us slow over the junction. Maybe we are actually waiting for something. Uh, I didn't know that LNER ever waited for anything. I thought that they were the maximum priority at all times. Uh, but obviously not. Ooh, red signal. Now the question you've got to ask yourself all the time in, uh, in Train Simulator is I'm getting a red signal. <laughs> oh, oh no, hang on, there we go, there's an East Midlands 156. Oh, lovely. No, what I was going to say is you've got to ask yourself, I'm getting a red signal. Is it that there's actually something I need to wait for? Or is the Train Sim scenario broken? Can often be a difficult one and it can be uh, one of two things. There we go, we'll, uh, we'll accelerate straight into the station now. We've got here what I imagine to be some sort of goods loop. I mean, to be fair, it could be a goods loop. It could be a loop that you could shunt maybe empty stock passenger trains into. Yeah, you could possibly do that. Got a little bridge over the top there. I mean, it doesn't look like we're going to clear it, does it? Whoa, everybody duck. I mean, we've, we've cleared it by quite a way. Thing is, in the Hitachi, you are sat a lot higher up uh, than what you are in a lot of other DMUs. Uh, the 185, for instance, if you see a 185 driver next to a Hitachi driver, the Hitachi driver is a lot higher up. Um... So it does kind of, you do feel like you're going a lot slower uh, than what you actually are. Which is why, like, when we're plodding along at 50, it feels like we're crawling, doesn't it? There we go, we'll, uh, we'll just ease off a little bit. Just minimum braking. It's all that's necessary. And, uh, yeah, this is Lincoln. Is it Lincoln or Lincoln Central? I always thought it was Lincoln Central. Uh, but it is just down as Lincoln here. There we go. Leave it at 25. Oh, we don't need acceleration. Just leave it at 25. That's absolutely fine by me. There we go. And just uh, yeah, a little bit more braking. I imagine we're going to get, yep, the AWS.
See, this has got LNAR stop boards, hasn't it? And uh, it explains why you can only run a, uh, a five car up to Lincoln. I wonder how they got on with the HSTs then, because they're obviously longer. There we go, we'll hear the, uh, the doors going in a minute. There we go. Hell, there's a big moon. There we go. And that is uh, our 802 in Lincoln. Let's uh, let's also have, just in case, I think that's quite a nice shot, isn't it? Uh, yeah, brilliant. It's not an 802, it's an 800, Joe. Get your facts right. What have we got there? Just cars. Simplicity at its, uh, at its simplest. That must be very simple. What have we got here? We've got... Uh, just snacks. Oh, right, okay. Is there a lot of just? Because it, yes, yeah, just trains, isn't it? There it is, yes. Uh, first train to Leicester. Calling at Highcombe, Swinderby. Collingham. Oh, it's Collingham. That's, uh, yeah, Newark Castle. That's down the line that we've just come up. I don't know if these boards work like in Trainsim World 2. I wouldn't have thought they did. I don't know if that's a functionality of Trainsim. Uh, but yeah, there we go. That's where you can go from. Uh, from Lincoln. Now uh, we are actually still meant to shunt. I guess the guard is just disposing of the set at the moment, uh, which I imagine you'll probably know what that is, but if you're not sure, basically the guard is walking through, because we're going into the sidings, uh, the guard's walking through and uh, is checking that everybody's off, because otherwise they'll be coming into the sidings with us, which uh, I'm sure they don't want to. You know, if they've nodded off, the journey's been that thrilling uh, that they've all nodded off. Uh, yeah. It'll go through, wake them up, kick them off. That's where they turn around and say, oh, I wanted I wanted Newark. Like, oh, dear. Well, uh, yeah, you're in Lincoln now. You're in Lincoln now, my good man. We've got the LNER interior. I didn't know that was pink. I mean, I, I'll assume it is. I don't wish to uh, cast aspersions on the credibility of Armstrong Powerhouse. Didn't know that was pink. I've, I've never actually been on one. I've been on TPEs and I've been on Great Westerns. I've never been on an LNER Class 800. Can't believe it, can you? Absolutely can't believe it. But there we go. Bless you. What are we waiting for here? Oh, hang on. Yeah, get you up. Oh, we depart at 12.05. Ah, right, okay. Uh, I mean, can we not go earlier if we're just going into the sidings? Is it is it not a possibility? I mean, no, nope, the request is denied. Hmm, right, well, there must be a reason we're waiting. Oh, maybe something's going to come past. Maybe we'll see something. Maybe something, uh, I mean, there's, there's nothing express, is there, that, like, through here? I don't know. There's not like any East Midlands things that don't stop at Lincoln. I couldn't imagine that would be the case. Do we have any freight around here that might go? Oh, hang on. Yeah, there we go. Just in time. There's, uh, yeah. Middle Road. So something's coming through. Maybe it is. I mean, it could be empty stock. It could be East Midlands empty stock. Could be a couple of 158s. Uh, maybe a 156. I don't think it's a 153 because I don't think the requirements had uh, of the scenario was a 153. So it probably won't be that. But, uh... Yeah, who knows? Who knows? To be fair, I know because I know the uh, the requirements of the scenario uh, and uh, the, the certain requirements which we haven't seen yet. So I have a very, very good uh, idea as to what it is coming through. But I won't spoil the surprise for everybody else. No, of course not. Of course not. And it's when you sat here as a driver and you've, you've like driven all the way from London and you sat here now thinking, I just want a cup of tea. Can we stop fannying around now? Get everybody off and we'll go for a cup of tea. You know, you have to sit here now and wait for all and sundry to go past. And I don't know how many objects we actually have to wait. We might have to wait for more than one train. Oh, it's a worry, isn't it? An absolute worry. Keeps you up at night. 
I might actually have to try and do this LNER run uh, down to uh, down to Lincoln just to you know tick off bit of red pen. There's not a lot in the UK. There's quite a lot of like places that I've still not been. You know, I'd like to think I'm fairly well travelled. I've done most of the main lines. I mean, I've done Brighton, done Portsmouth, East Coast, West Coast, Midland Main Line in its entirety. Uh, I've done London down to Penzance in its entirety. You know, so I have done a hell of a lot of the main lines. Uh, Edinburgh to Glasgow. Uh, this is where you'll all be like, ooh, well, hang on, you've missed out this very important main line. I might well have done. Uh, the Trans Pennine route, of course, Liverpool up to Newcastle, Middlesbrough, Scarborough, Hull, uh, Manchester Airport, all the way up to Edinburgh. I have done the West Coast up to Glasgow. Uh, never worked one, but have done one up there. Um, so yeah, a lot of the main lines have done, but just a lot of these little little places. I mean, Lincoln's not exactly what you call a little place, is it? But in terms of railway, I've never really had a need to go there, so I've, I've never gone there, you know what I mean? I've never been to Nottingham by a train. I don't think I have. I mean, this is... Uh... Oh, hang on. Yeah, here we go. Ah, as suspected, we have got uh, a Class 66. Chugging along with, uh, with some uh, troublesome trucks behind him. I don't think he quite realises how much uh, how much peril he's causing here, because we, you know, a driver, a train driver without his brew, is uh, is not to be trifled with. There we go. You can just hear the throb of that '66 engine. Hey, there he goes. I mean, I don't know where he's going. I imagine he's probably going to somewhere like. Um, Oh, I don't know. I mean, the, my geography is completely off here. He, he won't be going to Grimsby. I think that's in the other direction. Uh, but he might be going somewhere coastal to uh, to load all those wagons onto on some ships. Take them all back with the container wagons. Who knows? Who knows? I mean, where where are we looking here? So he's, he's travelling east, isn't he? Doncaster Railport. Oh, he's going to Felixstowe. Right, okay. Portal to Peterborough. I didn't even know you could get to Peterborough from that direction. I mean, like I say, my my knowledge is somewhat limited around here, but obviously you can get to Peterborough uh, from that direction. You must join the East Coast further down. Goodness only knows. Goodness only knows. Right, there we go. Uh, come on, guard, get them doors shut. Got the signal now. Very, very well done scenario, that. The train passes, you get the position lights, and then you're more or less ready to go, aren't you? I mean, it says we're due out at 12.05. I think they've, uh, so the guard will be busy chatting, won't he? Right, come on. Give him a wake up. Who is it? He'll be sat there with his cup of tea. He'll be sat there, have a cup of tea and a biscuit. Right, bugger the driver. Nope, oh, there we go. Get it in, uh, get it in forward. And away we go, into the sidings, Lincoln Terrace. Get it in full power. Oh, hang on, it's gone to 15. You never said that on the route markers. So I imagine, are we going to the left here? No. No idea where that goes either. That I do kind of, you know, on a lot of my trains and videos, I can say, oh, that goes down there, and that goes down there, and that route goes over there. Uh, this one, no idea. Absolutely haven't got a clue. Which uh, is, is, it makes me feel kind of unintelligent, and like I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. We've got some sort of uh, some sort of bus station on the right there, uh, the left even, left and right, two totally different things. I mean, they've got some green uh, just trains, hideous looking buses in. They look like Enviro 200 MMCs from the side, uh, Opteversus from the front. I mean, God knows what it's actually meant to be. Uh, 
Uh, it's a pretty hideous looking boss. I mean, look at that from the back. Oh, dear me. Let's, uh, let's say no more on that one. Uh, but there we are. We are arriving into the sidings. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please do click that like button. Always appreciated. And do make sure you subscribe if you're enjoying Trend Sim 2022. There'll be plenty more of that where that came from. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. And hopefully, I shall see you next time. Cheerio. Good back for now.